Let's head out to EAA Air Venture right now where Emily Beyer is live there checking out the fun events happening today. Good morning, Em. Good morning, Brooke. Hello, everyone. Happy Friday, you guys. It is such a beautiful day here in Oshkosh. We are at Boeing Plaza. We're checking out some of the cool planes that are here in this area. And a lot of them have really great backstories, including this one here. Uh, tomorrow, there's actually a lot of things going on. They're celebrating the year of the tanker. I'm joined by Chris Henry. Chris, tell me, there's a lot, there's a good story that comes along with this. Well, absolutely. Um, you know, we focus a lot on fighters and bombers and because they get a lot of the glamour. But none of that happens without the support aircraft like a KC-135, which we're standing in front of. Uh, we have a KC-135 crew here who, back in the 1980s, actually saved the lives of two uh, F-4 fighter uh, pilots. Uh, their aircraft was damaged. Uh, an explosion, I believe, uh, uh, took out one of their engines. Uh, they were out over the Atlantic Ocean, so these guys would have had to eject and hopefully survive the ejection, survive time exposed in the water, and hopefully hold out for a rescue aircraft. But because these guys uh, went above and beyond and actually connected the aircraft, kept refueling, actually towed the airplane at one point with wow. their boom, um, they were able to save both of the, uh, the, pilot, the fighter pilots' lives. Uh, and the, the crew of that KC-135 is here this year. Mm -hmm. so they're going to be celebrating them. Yeah, and, so, and they're going to be kind of talking, so we're going to hear that whole story from them and their perspective. Absolutely. We're going to hear it right from the guys that were there that day. And uh, I couldn't imagine doing some of the stuff they did. Usually when you mid every fuel, you do it at a higher altitude. Oh. I believe the last time that they were, like, hooked up together, the aircraft uh, separated about 1,600 feet. Uh, and this crew has not been back together again in 35 years. Oh, so this wow. is the first time. Yeah, so that's going to be an incredible thing to get to take part in and get to witness. Now, what is it about this plane that is so unique about it? Well, the KC-135, uh, it's based on the Boeing 707. Uh, revolu I mean, it was really a revolutionary uh, fighter, or I'm sorry, fighter, tanker. Uh, and uh, amazing to me that the aircraft is still going. That's a true testament to the people who built it, uh, designed it, fly it. Uh, the aircraft, it's an older aircraft, but it's still out there serving uh, everybody else here. Yeah, definitely. Sounds good. All right. So thank you so much, Chris. Again, you can hear their story. Again, they're going to be talking tomorrow. They're celebrating them all tomorrow. We'll have more on that on our website, NBC26.com. Brooke, we'll send it back to you. All right. Thanks, Emily.